Hello, welcome to the GTB South Sudan Global. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe as we will continue to bring you informative videos. Have you been following the news lately? President Salva Kiir, for reasons only known to himself, has fired Honorable Mayi Ayi, Minister of Foreign Affairs. To our esteemed viewers, this is the second time President Salva Kiir has fired Honorable Mayi Ayi. The first firing of Honorable Mayik Ayi happened when he was Minister of Presidency. President Kiir, due to public outcry, chased away from J1 Honorable Mayik Ayi like a chicken after the Juba Baral Kazal Road saga. There he appointed him as Minister for Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation. In our today analysis, we have analyzed poor hard choices. Honorable Mayik Ayi must take to revive his political career, which is currently on life support. Here are they. Number one, seek shelter in South Sudan Opposition Alliance, SASOA. Honorable Mayik Ayi, as a matter of urgency, should run Helter Skelter to the South Sudan Opposition Alliance, SASOA, shelter. After all, politics is a game of self interest. Given that he has been hounded out of the Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation Ministry unceremoniously, it is high time he punishes President Kiir by decamping to Sasoa. Number two, take on his boss, President Kiir. Another viable option for Honorable Mayik Ayi is to take on President Kiir politically. He can invest the little capital he has accumulated over the years in fighting President Kiir. Who knows, this may actually create jobs for hundreds of broke political activists and attack dogs in Juba. At the same time, the move can jolt President Kiir into dialogue with him. Number three, retire and enjoy his pension. Additionally, Honorable Mayik Ayi may decide to retire and enjoy his pension quietly. This is the right time for Honorable Mayik Ayi to enjoy the fruits of his political backbreaking labor in accordance with Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 13, which advises people to work hard and enjoy the fruits of their work. Number four, lobby hard to be reassigned to another position. Finally, Honorable Mayik Ayi may choose to lobby hard for a new position in President Kiir's government. Even though the new position may not be fancy or lucrative, at least it can keep him closer to the political kitchen. The number one rule of power is to always stay nearer to the center of power, no matter what. In conclusion, these are just some of the actions Honorable Mayik Ayi must take to keep his political career alive. What do you think? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to GTB South Sudan Global.